I don't know about you, but this is definitely a first for me. You've ridden them before. I'm not talking about the chocobos. Oh. You meant the shells, right? Right. Uh. Wait a second. Are you nervous? About what? Easiest job I've ever had. <laughs> the Merc's nervous! This version of the theme is so nice. It was always going to be the case that certain things I missed while playing 16 that I was going to get to enjoy in 7 Remake. And yeah, the, the Chocobo theme is definitely one of them. Now, here... Um, oh, I have to head to this bit. I'm going to focus on the quest first. And then we're going to do the proper exploration part of it. I haven't been to Chadley for a while. I haven't fought anything there. There's just so much to do that, like, I... It's it's at the limit of what I've what I can keep up with for now. So I'm gonna ignore the bird, ignore like these encounters. Like, one thing at a time. My turn. Ah. No, 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 no. Let me out of there. No. Get out of there. They're still attacking me? Wow. But yeah, already this region, again, a nice visual change up from the previous ones. They were a bit more barren. This place is definitely a bit more lively. Looks very, very, very nice. This place is very cool with the more tropical vibes. Right. Don't know if this counts towards the quest or not, but let's have a dig. Gold dust. Ah, nice. We needed this for some item transmuting, so that's good. And the usual stuff is still appearing as well. Okay. We should be able to find some good shells around here. Hmm. But first... We clean up the trash. Okay. So I guess we fight. We can still fight with these guys first. Bullfrog bubble. Let's see what this is. Hmm, okay. Cess. Best do it right. They slip into a defensive stance after taking a certain amount of damage, rendering frontal attacks ineffective. Fire damage will break their stance. Okay. If uninterrupted, they will strengthen themselves further with ice energy. Oh, I got caught in it. Right, we've got ninjutsu. Thankfully, again, I did the warm-up, so I played some of the DLC, so hopefully I should be able to fight from range. Um... You won't regret this! How you like this? So we go ninjutsu, then we go fire ninjutsu, and then we do that. So it's nice, but it's not like fully breaking through here. Yeah, it's very hard to not get hit by that. Right, let's do a proper fire spell here. Let's no escape. There's definitely been an increase in level though, as you're seeing. Like I did a fire spell, I did a bunch of things. It's got deep protect, and still, it's far from easy. There it is. Let's see what we got. Art of War, of course. We don't have the synergized one anymore. There's no Sonon, R.I.P. But yeah, I mean, for a random encounter, unless these are like special versions of them that are more difficult, I don't know. Mm. Let's try a bio. Hang back. Hang loose. Alright, 
of fire. It's on you. Here I go. No escape. Just <laughs> Give him a Stardust Ray. Actually, let's stagger first. And then do it. Love seeing this move from a distance. Look at that. Okay. Alright, seashells. Ready or not, here we come. Let's saddle up first. Then search. Sounds good. Back on the birds we go. Right, search for seashells, yep. Okay. Some spots offer treasure while others lead to trouble. Uh, that's old school. So instead of treasure, you can get caught up in encounters. Fair play. Now, item transmuter. Zinc or planet's venison. So we're still we're still not quite there yet with some stuff. Yeah, we can't craft anything new yet. Fine. But yeah, it's a level 25 mission, and we are at level 25 slash 26, so it seems pretty balanced to me so far. Um, let's see. What, right here? get it? It's not the shell you're looking for. Okay. Just have to see how this goes. Hopefully they don't drag it out too much. Ooh. That's really cool though, I do like that. You can see I'm getting hit harder than I was before as well. Deal with that. You're in good hands now. I got you now. Are you like this? Let's change that to a fine ninja suit. Get together. I got you. Try not to attack from the front if I can help it. Oh, yeah. Activated a new skill. Oh, there you go. Our relationship changed. Cool. Take the lead. No So currently we got zero shells, and we've had one encounter. Come on. Well, what do you want from me? Shouldn't be this hard, surely. I don't know if it's a different part of the beach I have to go to to get them. Also, uh, can I command menu here? I can. And I can still do this stuff as well. Nice. I'm going to try a different part of the beach here. It's so teeny tiny. You know, a lot of troopers take half a shell with them when they head out on missions. I know where this is going. It's meant to be a keepsake for their partner, right? A symbol of their undying love. And it's... Oh, sorry. Too far. Oh no, it cut off the dialogue, sorry. I thought basically the beach continued there a little bit, where those boats are and stuff, so I thought we'd continue there maybe and find some more stuff. My bad. I would have imagined they'd carry on the conversation, and that was just unlucky. But 
But yeah, Cloud is uh, making some more romantic hints there. It's too far, isn't it? No? Okay. Wow. That protection is good, man. Yeah, I guess this is why it's level 25. It's There's a few battles to do here. Yeah, definitely unsure if it's just related to how many times you dig or if it's just luck. I see something there already. No. I just saw that little bit there, so I wanted to see it, but... I'm further away than I was when it asked me if I want to stop. Nice, a punch. Decent size one, too. You know, you can hear the ocean if you put the seashell right up against your ear. That's a myth. Oh, just try it, you spoil sport. I'm good. Here. Keep it down, Bernie. <laughs> right. Last one. Nothing nearby. Are we going to dig up something big? In terms of enemy. Whoa! Oh. I don't think I've ever seen a shell this big before. Ooh. I think that should just about do it. Okay, ready to go? Are you sure? Really? Leaving the decision to me? What about you, Cloud? Are you sure? This is the part where you're supposed to blurt out, I don't want to go back. I want to stay here with you. This date's DOA otherwise. Okay, now you're just being mean. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean. I... sorry. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel as intimate when the, the rest of the entire party is here. Basically, I thought that it was just going to be sort of us two grabbing chocobos and coming down here ourselves. But obviously, when it's like this kind of environment, it's a bit more weird to have them in this kind of date context, I guess. Anyway, fast travel is now available, which is good. But this whole area, Corel region. God damn, this game is huge. I'm so impressed. Right, let's fast travel here. Like, in terms of the world map implementation, I can't really have imagined anything better than this. They've done such a good job the with it. The best way to make tracks is on Chocobax. Welcome back, you two. So, happen to find any neat shells out there? How is the beach? Romantic? <sighs> Whoa. Huge, right? Dang, that thing belongs in a museum or something. I can't help but wonder what is making her smile from ear to ear like that. Is it the shells? Or... Ha! I've got it! Inspiration has finally struck! I know what to make! But before I go, swing by the fashion showcase. We want you front row center. See you there! Next time we need a chocobo, I say we write double. The best way to make tracks is on chocobo. Which would make chocobo it that much easier right to here, take folks. in all the scenery. I'm still steering. <laughs> oh, fine. If you've got to be the man up front. The best way to make tracks <laughs> right, so on this is the last piece of um, Costa del Sol stuff I'll do. There, there is a level 31 mission, but it's so far ahead right now that I'll definitely give it some time. I do want to make progress again. Um, so that's what we'll do. So I need to head here first. Can I fast travel to that? Okay, so they won't let you fast travel to those. Fair play. I'm in the presence of a that's fine. It's not like it takes long to get there, but... It seems to me like at this stage it's going to be quite difficult for me to get a date with anyone other than Aerith at Gold Saucer, but it must be, you must be able to do that, regardless of what the story pushes. It's got to be a thing. Um, so we'll see. I think she must be in the lead, but we probably still can with other people.
Wanna shoot your shot? This swimsuit's got perfect aim. <laughs> Love might be a game, but you'll never lose in this winning ensemble. Wanna land a big catch? With this look, it'll be hook, line, and sinker. Good marketing. <laughs> Ah, these guys are back. My friends, who among you doesn't ache for that perfect swimsuit physique? You want to get ripped? You want a hot spot? Then you better train with the best of the best. So come, come join, join our, our gym, gym and muscle, muscle maximize. Oh boy, the squatting mini game is back. I'm so glad you came. So, what did you think of the show? You were the inspo after all. I absolutely loved it. But the two of us didn't do anything inspo worthy. We just had fun. That's what we wanted. Happy couples get us inspired and fired up. Exactly. This place is more than just a vacay spot. It's a paradise where people come to create lifelong memories. And making sure they do is what we do best. So next time you swing by, Promise to frolic in the waters, bask in the sun, enjoy our town to its fullest, and leave with a smile. <laughs> there we go, 10 SP for Cloud. Eyes deceive me. Is that Cloud? Oh, hey, you trade the city for the beach too? What are you doing here? Relaxing, really. We're on our yearly beach retreat. And commissioning this year's new singlets from these talented young women. <laughs> oh, right. That reminds me. Stop by the training facility when you have a moment. We're in need of your particular skills. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Muscle Beach makes sense. Update minigames. Updated versions of Pirates Rampage and Rumwild now available to play with new prizes and aim for even higher scores in these revamped games. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Right, I think the Muscle Beach idea is smart. I mean, Muscle Beach, one of the most famous workout places on the planet. Um, but again, I think I'm getting to that stage where it's like, you know, there's only so much I can do. And I will be back here anyway uh, for this one eventually. It does say level 31. And so I think we'll be back. I've done one out of three. Does that mean a new one's been added here? Let's speak to... Oh, forgot their name. Obviously, Big Bro in the OG, but I forgot they're still referred to them as Big Bro. But I can't speak to them anymore. Oh. I'll see you at the training facility. Okay. People are going crazy for the new designs. Cool. Yeah. Once again, they made Costa del Sol just the scale of Costa del Sol and like the amount of stuff they put, the life they injected into it, the charm. Everything, I think they've done a superb job. It's basically like what they did with Wall Market, for example, and they took that out and just uh, did it for basically everywhere. So I continue to be very impressed by this game. Don't know what more you could really want at this stage. Right, it's a new one. Uh, jewels, that's it. Level 26. Time to maximize muscle. Yeah. I think this is surely one that I can just do like one time. I don't need to try and aim for a high score, so it should be relatively fast. Because I think once I go out into Corel, I'm not going to be back for probably an hour or two or three or four, so probably the last, last thing I want to sort out before I go. Where's the training facility? Ah, speak with Jules, okay. Yeah, I really didn't imagine even in Costa del Sol there'd be this much to do. Wait. Jules has moved. We have a better look here. I thought they would have set up some kind of training thing on the beach, but it doesn't seem like it. Shimmer boys. <laughs> Maybe there's been a place that's already been kind of shared as the training facility and I missed it. I don't know. 
where it is. Wait, Jules has request 768 meters. Oh, it's it's not in here. Fine. I thought they set up something in Costa del Sol. Fine. It's further away than I thought. It's it's on like it's on the world map basically. It's all the way out here. Right. Okay, that's cool. That means we really are exiting um, Costa del Sol for now, and we will start with uh, towers and all of that good stuff. So once again, chapter seven appears to be a big one. Chapter five and six, um, there was a lot to do, especially in chapter six, but they were more like uh, smaller areas. But now we have larger areas once again. So I will start with this and then we'll do the Jules quest along the way. And I'm sure we'll fight some stuff here. So like there's that encounter there. I'm sure we're gonna encounter them anyway. So, as I said earlier, I think random encounters specifically, I won't fight them too much. Um, unless they're, like, blocking the path of something. So, like, for example, in front of the tower, you're going to have to fight something anyway. Most of the time. And we'll spend a bit of time with Yuffie and Red to get them integrated into the team. Oh man, there's still like, surely there's still Barrett and Dine to come. There's still um, Cosmo Canyon. There's still so much great stuff to come. I still like, I know there's 14 chapters in this game and we've just started chapter seven, but there's still a lot to freaking do. And we haven't even talked about obviously Gold Saucer. And then once we go beyond that, we start getting towards place like Temple of the Ancients. Like this game is, there's still so much to do. It's insane. Right, flyers, not our department, but we'll do our best. Ah, I was just about to roll. Right, can Cloud still do his assess? Let's do that. See what we're working with. Yep, it's unsurprising. Can we do a... There it is. Get away from that zap talon. Let's try and use these no MP versions if we can. I have to remember that I don't always need to use MP for this. Can just do that. There we go. Yuffie's up to level 26. Very nice. I mean, again, a lot of like mountainous, rocky regions, but the fact that they've uh, put in like different types of trees, and obviously the palm trees and more tropical feel as well. It's helped it still feel definitely different from the previous areas, to me at least. And I guess we do get to do this entire region in these outfits, which is kind of amusing. So. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, where's the activation thing? I missed it. Oh, it's a tree. Bit of a long-winded one this time. Oh yeah, true. There was also a, a tower right by the start. I think once I'm done with most of what I'm going to do here, I'll do like a big Chadley sesh where I'll do a lot of the uh, combat data stuff that I've missed. But I also forgot about this tower. I need to get to there. So let's quickly do this first. It's right here.
But yeah, Yuffie entering the mix is also good for like team variety as well, uh, gameplay wise too. As we get that cash. Like having three natural long ranges is definitely a boost. Circlet, nice. I remember that being decent. <laughs> yeah, I think before I continue the story, I'm going to change them back into the outfit, like more serious cutscenes um, with this, <laughs> with these outfits. Probably not the not the right move. Then we have to do a bit of climbing potentially here. Oh. Yeah, there's one on top of there. You see that one? Severus. We do have the time material now at least. Okay, there's the final one. Seabreeze Storehouse. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen a little bit of wind. It's probably difficult. So yeah, you can see if you look closely. But like from a distance when you're running, it doesn't look like anything's moving. Like right now, for example, you can't really tell. I think it would have been nice to see a little bit of that. Flyers again. It's gonna go straight to UV here. She can do an assess too, right? Okay. You good? On it. Got it. Ready? What is this? Interesting move. I'm trying to throw the... Yeah. yeah, once you get that fine in Jitsu, it becomes quite easy. Should be able to slice them up now. Nothing to it. Had a bit of a slow start with those other two, but we figured it out. There's definitely been like a slight difficulty increase, which is nice. You can feel the scaling a little. Goon place looks nice. Alright. So all of these uh, big exploration areas, they do seem to be roughly similar in terms of how much um, exploration there is to do. Like the points, they seem pretty equal to me. Now I don't know if there's a different type of chocobo here, I don't think so. We've already got the one that was kind of given to us that we didn't have to wrangle. We'll just have to see if anything else pops up. So let's follow the birdie. Yeah, we're with you. It's casually flying fish. Huh? Where did it go? Well, there is one up here, so we have to assume that this is where it's trying to lead me to. That being said, I don't know how you get up there. Zinc ore, that's another thing we needed. Is that a cave? Oh wow, I could not see. There's a little bit of light reflecting. It's a sunny day today. I've got my blinds closed, but there's still a slight reflection. So I couldn't tell.
Okay, first life spring. Thank you, bird. So you've got to wonder who the summon is for this area. To be fair, I don't think we fought the summon of the previous one, actually. Maybe I should do that. But to be fair, I've not really been using the summons, and I've already got a bunch. So it's not a huge deal, but we do have some region intel. Which I will read for you guys shortly. Right. And yes, I will eventually get this one too. Um, right. Though Costa del Sol is now a renowned beach resort, it was once home to a string of humble fishing villages. However, when relations between Shinra and the Republic of Junon began to deteriorate, Shinra annexed this portion of the coast. After the war, the company designated the area for redevelopment, transforming it into the must-visit location for avid sunseekers that it is today. Costa del Sol offers vacation packages to suit any budget, allowing travelers from every corner of the globe to savor their idyllic beaches. Plans that include a trip to the Gold Saucer have proven particularly popular. <laughs> 